Welcome dear learners. Today we shall discuss about weed management in tea. We shall discuss about weeds in tea plantation, their types and their management practices. Before going to the main contents, let me define what is weeds. Weeds are basically the plants growing in an area where they are neither desired nor appreciated. Weeds compete with the crop for the nutrients, sunlight, carbon dioxide, moisture and space. Most of the weeds harbor may many pests and diseases which attack the main crops. Some weeds hinder harvesting of tea by covering the plucking surface and also creating physical obstruction to the pluckers. So in tea plantation, weeds are not a major problem, especially in case of mature tea uh, because mature tea canopy covers the ground. But nursery and young tea plants suffers a permanent setback in vigor if proper weed control measures are not taken it at appropriate time. Which are a problem in prune fields and need to be controlled till the bushes cover the ground. Now when the weed competition is more in tea or any other crop field, there are some critical period of weed competition in tea garden. And if you see in the case of Assam, a state of uh, northeastern India, the critical period of wheat competition is between April and September, that is during the monsoon. Now, what are the types of weeds? How these weeds are classified? Weeds are classified on the basis of duration of their life cycle as annuals, biennials and perennials. Morphologically measure which belong to either monocotyledonous which are having narrow leaves or dicotyledonous which uh, are having the broad leaves. Now in tea garden what types of which are normally seen? Several uh, species of grasses monocotyledonous and dicotyledonous which basically infest the tea fields. Some example of which seen in the tea garden of major tea growing area of the world are like annual meadow grass, Bermuda grass, torpedo grass, polygonum, American drop, large leaf, wood sorrel. So these are common weeds which are dominant in the tea growing area of the world. Now uh, come to the control method that is how we will manage this weeds. There are various control methods. Among those, if we see the mechanical methods, hand weeding, sickling, chilling, forking and mulching are generally done for weed control in deep plantations. Hand weeding is carried out uh, in the nurseries and in the newly planted tea areas where application of chemical herbicide is prohibited or hazardous for the young plants. Chilling that is also called a surface scraping. It is an efficient means of suppressing wheat with a minimum soil disturbance. Chilling is useful in controlling the cello rooted wheat when their density is high and a large area is to be weeded. Now, sickling. Sickling is basically done to control the vigorous growth of tall wheat and deep rooted wheat growing around the collar of the bushes can be removed by forking. Another important operation is mulching which is very effective in controlling wheat growth. The growth of wheat has to be constantly checked before they reach the flowering phase. Uh, therefore the weeding should be done at least every 8 to 10 weeks so as to control them before they reach a height of 10 to 15 centimeter which is also facilitated fertilizer application. The border areas of tea fields, roadsides, steep terrain etc. should be kept weed free by slush weeding in order to avoid continuous dispersal of weed seeds to the adjoining tea fields. Now let's see the effect of weeds at different stages of tea plant. In tea plantation, which are seen from the nursery to the mature tea field. However, in mature tea field, the wheat infestation is less as I have mentioned earlier. Nursery and young tea plants are more susceptible to wheat infestation. Therefore, proper wheat control methods need to be followed. 
generally we should avoid the only chemical method of weed control as much as possible. In uh, what happened in nursery plant, up to six months of uh, planting of cuttings, application of chemical is strictly prohibited, totally prohibited. And rather it is better to follow integrated weed management practices where manual, chemical, biological and ecological methods are combined in order to achieve cost effective and eco-friendly weed management. So dear learners, we came to the end of the discussion and it is seen that if proper management is not taken at proper time, which can create serious problem in the tea plantation. Thank you.